today I'm going to be making hummus but using my beets in my backyard. Hummus is really easy to make and it's filled with protein and iron and the roasted beets give it a nice flavor and a beautiful color. So I started off by washing my beets and I've removed the green tops. And what I like to do is I like to freeze them in little Ziploc bags and then I can use them for smoothies during the winter. It's a way to save money and I don't have to waste food. So after I wash the beets, I'm going to drizzle them in olive oil and add some salt. And I'm going to wrap them in tin foil like a little burrito and put them in the oven for 40 minutes at 400. You can also boil your beets instead or use pickled beets as well, but I find roasted beets have the best flavor. Next I'm going to add one can of chickpeas and I'm going to add about an inch of water and let it boil on high for about 10 minutes. This is just going to make sure your hummus comes out smooth and there won't be any bumps. So after about 40 minutes, you're going to want to take your beets out of the oven. If your knife goes in easily, they're ready. And in my food processor, I'm going to mix together my chickpeas, my four cloves of garlic, and my beets, which I have removed the skins from. Then I'm going to juice in one lemon, and then on high I'm going to mix it all together. So next you're going to want to add your spices. I added some cumin, paprika, and a generous amount of salt. You're also going to want to add your tahini. Now if you're allergic to tahini, you can also substitute it with some Greek yogurt, but unfortunately tahini is what really gives it that unique hummus flavor. So if you're not allergic to it, I advise to definitely use it. And the last thing we're going to do is add our olive oil and then we're going to adjust the seasonings again. So I just use a little spoon and I'm going to just taste test and from there, I'm gonna just add a little bit more salt and a little bit more tahini. So once you're happy with the consistency and flavor, it's ready to plate. And I use a little bit of olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and some mustard seed to top it all off. And that's how you make my beet hummus. Hope you enjoy.